Number 10. Mysterious Whale from between 2014 and 2015, a strange sound was recorded multiple times in the Mariana Trench, specifically a part of the Mariana Trench near Guam, which happens to be one of the largest protected marine areas on the planet. But scientists weren't initially able to identify the bizarre sound. It wasn't like anything they had ever picked up underwater before, suggesting some kind of great beast lurking in the trench. The clearest recording is only about 3.5 seconds long, picked up by an autonomous vehicle. But after a lot of debate and analyzing, researchers have finally come up with an answer for the strange sound. They believe it came from a baleen whale. The problem is that it's a type of whale call that no one's ever heard before. Scientists are used to the moaning of baleen whales, but this particular call sounds a bit too twangy, making the experts really scratch their heads. This could mean one of two things. Either there's an unknown whale moving in and out of the Mariana Trench, or the scientists are wrong. They could have picked up the call of something huge and awful, mistaking it for that of an ordinary whale. We just don't know. Number 9. Zombie Worms the term zombie worms is a little misleading. These bizarre underwater creatures don't eat brains, but rather bones. The real name for the zombie worm is the Osidax worm, a thing that grows between 1 and 3 inches and is often found more than 10,000 feet deep, usually feasting on the rotting carcasses of whales. There are 26 different species of zombie worms, according to the World Register of Marine Species. Some of them have been found in the Mariana Trench. But why do these creepy little worms have such a hunger for animal bones? They don't actually eat the bones, they digest the minerals and fats inside the bones. And they do it in the weirdest way possible. Zombie worms don't have mouths or stomachs, they secrete acid from their skin, dissolving bone until the fat and protein inside is released. Then bacteria living inside the body of the worm digest the fat and protein. What scientists still can't figure out is how the zombie worm gets nutrients from the bacteria. They could digest the bacteria, the bacteria might transfer nutrients somehow into the worm, it's a total mystery. But what we do know is that their only source of food seems to be from skeletons that float to the bottom of the ocean. Ugh. Number 8. Snailfish the snailfish has been caught on video, swimming deeper than any other animal in the world. That makes this tiny fish one of the most interesting creatures ever, with huge fins that look like wings, a head kind of looking like a cartoon dog, and a body that's so fragile it could crumble at the touch of your finger. The snailfish was discovered swimming at 26,700 feet beneath the Pacific Ocean in the Mariana Trench. The international team of marine biologists were on a 30-day expedition to try and capture footage of some of the deepest animals in existence. Well, they succeeded. Alan Jameson from the University of Aberdeen described the snailfish as unlike anything any of the researchers had ever seen before. But they weren't able to collect any samples. They only managed to film the creature by lowering their cameras down into the darkness of the trench. They got over 105 hours of video, also capturing footage of the first ever super giant amphipod. But so far, there's nothing else that can swim as deep as the snailfish. Number 7. Dumbo Octopus the Dumbo octopus is one of the weirdest things that lives in the Mariana Trench. It's called Dumbo because of the big fins protruding from the sides of its mantle, making it look like it has huge ears. But the truth is that this octopus is extraordinarily small. It's only about 8 inches large with short arms, pale colors, and a body shaped like a bell. It spends the majority of its time hovering over the seafloor like some kind of tiny spaceship, scooping up creatures with its stubby arms. And even though it's weird, it's also been titled the cutest cephalopod in all of the world. The Dumbo octopus lives at an extreme depth in the Mariana Trench, as well as other parts of the ocean, 13,000 feet beneath the surface. According to National Geographic, that makes it the deepest living octopus ever discovered. Its primary source of nutrition includes snails and worms, which it snatches from the seafloor. Number 6. A Megalodon with all the recent public fascination with the Megalodon, you may have found yourself wondering if these ancient creatures really do exist. I mean, still exist. Right now, on Earth. Lucky for you, I'm here to give you the full scoop on whether there really is a prehistoric Megalodon. Maybe even a whole family of them. 
living in the Mariana Trench. After all, it's the deepest, least explored part of the ocean, so who's to say a giant 60-foot shark couldn't be living somewhere down in the darkness? Sorry to get your hopes up, but there probably isn't. Modern science says the Megalodon went extinct somewhere around 3 million years ago. If a shark of its size was still around, we would have found it. And here's the number one piece of evidence. Look at the creatures on today's list. They're tiny. For a beast the size of a Megalodon to live in the Mariata Trench, it would need ample food. It would need creatures the size of whales swimming everywhere just to keep itself alive. For a Megalodon to find itself a stable food source, it would need to rise 8,000 feet up from the darkest part of the Mariata Trench to where humans could easily see it. Are you convinced by this argument, or do you still believe there could be a Megalodon hiding deep in the Mariata Trench? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 5. Creepy Jellyfish A new and very creepy jellyfish has been spotted deep down in the Mariata Trench. Experts are saying that the creature could be an entirely new species of animal never before seen on the planet. It was found at the Enigma Seamount, 12,139 feet beneath the surface of the water. The unknown jellyfish was spotted floating motionless, its tentacles outstretched and its bell totally still. This suggests it was in predator mode, waiting to ambush another sea creature that got close enough to its tentacles. The jellyfish is a weird mixture of red and yellow, with its tentacles seemingly glowing purple. Experts with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the ones who found the animal, were able to identify it as belonging to the genus Crossoda, but they're clueless as to its species. Because they don't have anything to go on except video footage, it's very difficult for them to properly analyze this new animal. Plus, they've only ever seen one of them. It could be a totally new species or just a variant of one we already know about. What do you think? Number 4. The Plastic Crustacean The Eurythanes plasticus is a newly identified species of amphipod found in the Mariata Trench, approximately 20,000 feet deep. As you might have recognized from its name, this deep-sea crustacean was named after plastic, polyethylene in particular. This is because pieces of plastic were actually found inside the animal's guts. It's a creature that lives in the deepest part of the ocean, yet it seems to be eating tiny plastic pieces of plastic resin that we use here on the surface in fibers for clothing, in bottles for your favorite drink, and in food packaging. Its name was given by researcher Alan Jameson and his team hoping to draw some awareness to the increasing issue of plastic pollution in the environment. The animal itself is also quite interesting even without the plastic. It looks exactly like a pill bug that you might find in your garden except bigger, so white it's almost transparent, and a whole lot creepier. Number 3. Deep Sea Hatchetfish the deep-sea hatchetfish has evolved to live in the darkest depths of the ocean. That means the Mariata Trench. This freakish-looking fish, looking as though its jaw is hanging down nearly three times the size of its body, is one of the most tragic things you'll ever lay eyes on. There's just something about looking straight into the face of a marine hatchetfish that makes you feel as if you're looking into the face of a lost soul swimming through a dark abyss. But besides looking like a soul trapped in limbo, the hatchetfish is actually pretty cool. It remains constantly invisible in the pitch darkness of the ocean thanks to its slender shape and reflective scales. It also has organs on its belly that emit light to conceal its shadow. This means anything below the hatchetfish cannot see it, whereas the hatchetfish can see other fish swimming above it. This allows it to hunt effectively while evading some of the more violent predators within the darkest place in the ocean. Number 2. Ping Pong Tree Sponge The ping pong tree sponge can be found in the shallower part of the Mariata Trench at a depth of around 8,800 feet. It's a flesh-eating sponge covered in transparent ping pong balls. It can grow to be over 20 inches tall with its body composed of a thin stalk. At the top of the stalk is what looks like an array of globes. These globes, or ping pong balls, are covered in very small hooks called spicules. 
tentacles. These hooks work just like fishing hooks to capture unsuspecting creatures moving past the sponge. The hooks trap small fish and other tiny crustaceans that accidentally touch the ping pongs, trapping them as if they got stuck to Velcro. As the prey tries to struggle and get free, the cells inside the sponge begin to consume tiny fragments of it while it's still living. It's a slow and honestly horrifying process in which the sponge gradually absorbs its victim one cell at a time. It doesn't actually have a digestive cavity or a stomach, so it has to absorb whatever poor thing gets stuck to its ping pong ball. Number 1. The Frilled Shark The Frilled Shark is by far one of the most frightening predators that lives in the Mariotta Trench. It hunts by lunging at a potential piece of prey, swallowing it whole, and then allowing it to digest. It looks weirdly like a prehistoric eel mixed with a very small sea serpent. It can grow to be over 7 feet long, and it gets its name from the oddly frilly appearance of its gills. Its favorite food is squid, it has rows of long and pointy teeth, each one having three points that it uses for snagging the soft bodies of its preferred victims. And even though it prefers squid, the frilled shark will eat pretty much anything that gets near it, even other sharks. So anything that swims in its way, better watch out. The issue with the frilled shark is that scientists have only seen a handful of them. They are very rarely encountered in the wild, meaning scientists don't even know their whole range. We do know that they live in the darkest parts of the ocean, like in the Mariotta Trench, but we don't know how many exist. There could be hundreds, or there could be thousands. The only time a frilled shark has been brought to the surface has been when one accidentally gets tangled in a fishing net, and that happens very rarely. According to Oceana, scientists consider these deep predators to be either close to extinction or at least near threatened. What's your favorite creepy creature from the Mariotta Trench? Let us know in the comments, and thanks so much for watching the video today. For more great stuff, remember to subscribe to help support the channel. See you next time. Bye!